Hey guys, it's Kyle and right now I'm here with my friend Nikki and we have tickets to see Effing Up Everything and it's an off-Broadway show. We won the tickets, which is really cool. Well, she did. Nikki yeah, won them. And it's just from this contest. Right now we're in Times Square and we're really excited. First of all, we didn't know where the theater was. We were like looking around for 10 minutes, but then we found it in this place called Times Scare. It's like a haunted house. It's really sketchy, but I'll show you guys later. I'll just tell you how the show was. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's Kyle. And yesterday I saw Effing Up Everything at the Electric Theater. And the reason I went to go see the show was because my friend Nikki won tickets to it. I mean, who doesn't love free tickets? In case you were wondering, we won the tickets off of Twitter. I was on the Effing Up Everything page on Facebook and I saw that this woman was having a separate contest and I just followed her on Twitter and entered and my friend was lucky enough to win. We were really excited to see this show because Jason Gote from Bring It On was in it. The first show that Nikki and I saw together was Bring It On and it's one of our favorites and we were really excited to see him again. So Effing Up Everything is about this boy named Christian Muhammad and then he has a Jewish last name. So it's funny because it's like three different religions. It's about him and he's a nerd kind of character played by Max Crum who is in Greece on Broadway and also was an ECA. He met this girl named Juliana and he was interested in her but he has a friend played by Jason Gote named Jake and he just butts in in all of his relationship and Christian is just left with nobody. So this girl he feels a true connection with and he really doesn't want Jake to get involved. That's basically what the show revolved around and it's a really good show. First of all, when Nikki and I sat in the theater, we saw Nick Blameyer walk into the theater who was in Godspell on Broadway and Dogfight. So we saw him come in and I tapped Nikki and I was like, oh my God, like I saw him in Godspell and he's been on Broadway before. And she's like, oh cool. After him, we see Telly Leung walk in, which is from Godspell as well. And from Glee, he played a warbler. We didn't go up to them because we were planning on seeing them after the show. We had a train to catch and we just didn't have time. Also, I saw Nikki Bond from Legally Blonde on tour and she played Campbell's understudy, Ava's understudy, Kyler and Skyler's understudy and Bring It On with one of her friends from Bring It On. It was cool seeing all these people from the Broadway community coming to support their friends in the show. There's only seven people in the cast. The first person is Christian played by Max Crum and he was amazing. I really loved his character. He was really quirky and he brought his own Puppets are used in the show and he just used them really well. He was really funny. Next was Jake, played by Jason Gote, and he did really well. In Bring It On, he played kind of a nicer character, which I liked, but this time he was kind of a jerk and I really liked his performance. Next was Ivy, who was Don Cantwell, and she was in a relationship with another boy named Tony. Relationship is not going well. They don't want to be with each other. They just want to be there for each other. It's really confusing. There was Juliana, played by Catherine Kazuma, and she did really well. She was the girl that Christian or Max Crom had a liking for, and you just see the relationship turn into stuff. If you see the show, you'll know what I mean. Yeah. Tony was played by Douglas Wittick, and he did really well. He had a few songs, and he did really well in them. There was a drummer played by George Salsar, who was in Godspell, and he didn't have that big of a role, but what he had, he was really good in. And last, it was Ariel, played by Lisa Birnbaum, and she did really well. This was kind of a PG-13 show. Um, from the title, it's called Effing Up Everything. If you're planning on seeing the show, you should not take one of your younger siblings along, really. You should probably go by yourself. For me to compare this to the Book of Mormon, because I know that the Book of Mormon is really raunchy and it curses a lot. I think up everything curses a lot, but it wouldn't offend you. It didn't offend me at all. I don't think it offended anyone in the audience. But I know in the Book of Mormon, it can offend some people of different religions. For all, the show was really good. You should definitely run and see it before it closes. The lecture theater was inside of Times Scare, which also silenced the musical it's playing. And I didn't know. I thought of the Electra Theater was just its own theater. So I had trouble finding it, but it's in Times Scare. It was a really good show. And I know how I usually give out playbills, but this isn't a playbill. It's just a sheet of paper. I don't know if you guys would have wanted that. And a sure person only gave me one and Nikki had one. My birthday is this month. It's next week, actually, April 19th on a Friday. And that Saturday, I think I might be seeing Pippin with my mom or Motown or something like that. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.